Hey guys, welcome back to Top Shot Hockey. Today we're just going to do a profile on Kale McCarr, who is about as elite as they come for a defenseman. I would basically put him into the same tier as Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews. Maybe just a shade below for not even just in the NHL, but for collecting as well. Like his cards are going to continue to go up in value because he is such a dynamic player. He's probably the closest to McDavid as far as skating ability, just from the back end compared to the forward end. And he's only scratching the surface. Like he's so young, he's already averaging more than a point per game in his young career. You know, he's he's doing things that guys like Paul Coffey and Bobby Orr are, were the last to do. And he's on a juggernaut team. So it's not like he's doing this. Like he's he, his value is going to keep being driven because this is a team that's probably going to win multiple Stanley Cups during his, his career. He's in a, a pretty prestigious market. So he's always going to be marketable. Like he is one of the more valuable players to collect. So let's go through some of his cards here and I can show you what I got so far. So this is his Opeachy Glossy rookie card and I believe it's copper bronze. I don't, it doesn't say on here, but the border is different. Uh, I think there's silver, copper and gold or something like that. And this is, uh, it's, it's, even though it's Opeachy, it's, you get it through upper deck. It's part of the, um, it's usually part of the extended series. Um, it's like a inset. So that's, that's his Opeachy Glossy Rookie. This here is his MVP Rookie. And you'll notice I got two, but they got different colors. And what that is, is this one was out of the box set. So it's got a different color. It's still numbered the same. But they just do that so you can you can dif differentiate them. The funny thing is, the value of them is basically the same right now. It is anyways. But this one is actually out of a hobby box, so that's his rookie card. And I actually have the same thing for the checklist. One's out of the box set, and one's out of a hobby box. And ironically, even though this is isn't technically his rookie card, it's just a checklist. These are actually value of the same right now. They're both over $20. The checklist and his rookie card. So that's cool. This is from the Tim Horton set, Clear Cut Phenoms. So I don't know if you can see, but it's clear. And that was from 2021. It was one of the subsets. So that one's a pretty cool card. This is his portrait card from his rookie year. So that one's pretty cool. Here is his Marquee Rookie Opeachy card. Opeachies are, are not as valuable, obviously, as the Young Gun, but this one's still around $20. I personally haven't been able to get a Young Gun. I have bought so much Upper Deck from that year, and I just have not been able to pull a Kilma card. Now it's going for as high as $300, so maybe I'll bite the bullet one of these days and just buy one. But he, that's the one I'm missing, and that, obviously that's the most valuable one. This is his Parkhurst rookie card. And it's funny, this stance that most defensemen make getting ready for the faceoff, I'm pretty sure Rob Blake's rookie card, he is in the exact same stance back when he was a rookie with the Kings, which I thought was funny. This is from Parkhurst as well. This is his prominent prospect card. Here is a couple different Tim Hortons cards. So what year is this one? This one's from his rookie year, or is it this one? No, it's this one. So this one's kind of like his Tim Hortons rookie. And this is the die cut version of his rookie. So the statistics on the back are just from when he's in college, because this came out during his rookie year. The red die cuts are usually, depending on who the player is, can be worth as much as two to five times more than than the the base card. Um, I, I think that's this is around twenty dollars already. Uh, here's the following year's Tim Hortons card, and then this is the one from this year. 
I really like the design of the Tim Hortons cards. They're really cool. It's too bad our American friends don't get to uh, enjoy that card unless they buy them on eBay or ComC. This is a Team Triples card. And this was from 1920, so it's his rookie year. But these were um, a special Blaster Box exclusive. And it wasn't even all Blaster Boxes. It was just these special ones. And I'd seen... I'm pretty sure they were available in the States too, but they had some that said they were only available in Canada, but I don't know if that's true. Um, what's pretty cool is it got Kale McCarr, Nathan McKinnon, and Landis Gog on it, so that's pretty cool. So this was just his base card from Upper Deck, but this is the, the suit variant of this one. So his base card is around $2. Well, on average... The suit variants are 20 times more. So this card I've seen anywhere from 40, 50. I've seen it as high as 60. But these suit variants are pretty rare. I can't remember what the actual pull ratio was. But in all the boxes I bought, I had only ever pulled one. And it was actually a Tyler Toffoli one. This one I found on, I think it was actually Com C. And I've, have, I've had some other videos on Com C, but I got this at for a ridiculous price. Like, I think it was around five bucks. And heck, this card at some point is going to be five dollars pretty soon just because of how elite he is. So, if this one ends up being five dollars and this is worth 20 times that, you do the math. That was a great deal for me to, to snag this one. Like I said, they're quite rare. I don't know what the pull ratio is, but I know they're not easy to get. This is one of his canvas cards and that is not from his rookie year it's from the, the year after this is his base card from mvp and this was the year after his rookie year and this is uh the retro version of the same card mvp always does a retro inset and it's usually an anniversary of one of their previous designs i forget what this one's called like, they have different names for them like the one from this year is called the MVP watch. Here's his honor roll card and as I've mentioned in previous videos this silver part here they have gold and I believe black versions of that honor roll as well. This is just his base card from this year. I do like this little side part where they have another little profile picture of the player. Here's his dazzler from is that this year? Yeah that's this year's. So one thing I've noticed is from 20, 21, 22, it says Dazzlers at the top. If you've got a 2021, it says Dazzlers at the bottom. So I, I figured that out the other day because I was, I was putting some away and I know, oh, oh, that's a subtle little difference to, to tell them apart. Here is his tall boy from this year. These are pretty cool. Here's his Allure base card. Here's this Parkhurst base card, but it's the gold version. So they have, is it gold or bronze? It always throws me off because the gold and the bronze are so similar, but I think this is the gold. Um, they also have silver. So the, the gold's usually around two to three times more the value of the base card is. Here's another Parkhurst card. And these ones are called Parkies. It's kind of the nickname for them. That's from his rookie year, too. Here's no peachy playing card. What year is this one from? This one's from 2021. This is his award winner, and it's the blue border. The Opeachy uh, sets always have a lot of different colored borders. Um, like this year's, the black is the most valuable one. I'm not sure what this baby blue version is worth compared to the rest, but that's the blue one. Here's his retro platinum card for OPG Platinum. Here is another Park Horse inset Encore. So this is mostly sophomores. Here's his Skybox Metal base card. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, this part's silver, but you can get what's called Blue Spectrum, Purple Spectrum. They also have a retro um, card, and then they have a Red Ruby retro as well 
Here's from the Team Canada Tim Horton set from the World Junior teams that he played on. This set, they produced half the amount that they normally do. And even the, the normal Tim Horton set is quite rare. Like it sells out pretty quickly because it's only available in Canada. And, and it's usually available for two to three weeks because by then it's sold out. And this one, they produced half the amount of the regular set. So when this came out, I literally went to Tim Hortons that morning at like 4 a.m. because I started early at work. Asked to speak to the whoever was supervising. And I said, can I buy a full case? Because normally they tell you, oh, you can only, it's limited to 10 packs per customer. But for the most part, the employees don't really care. They just want to get rid of them. So they have to, get, you know, they can stop having to give them out. So I just bought a whole case, which was 100 packs of three for $200. And I, out of the case I bought, I had enough to get two base sets, virtually all the, most of the subsets, minus a few cards. So that's the way to go if you're collecting. Because like I said, they sell it really quickly. This is actually one of the subsets from that uh, same set. It's the, the metal winners. Here is his base card, oops, and his ice battle card from MVP. And as I mentioned in previous videos, the light blue uh, signifies short print. Anything over 200 is usually short print. This is his base card out of Wopichi. And this is the retro version of that same card. That's, well, there you have it. I Like I said, I don't have his Young Gun card, which is his most valuable rookie card. I've been trying to get my hands on it, but it's so, it's already, like, I think when I started collecting, well, I used to collect when I was a kid, but then I started collecting again about a year and a half ago. And I remember when I started collecting and started looking at prices, I think his rookie card was 100 and in a short year and a bit, it's now it's at 300 And I'm kicking myself. I'm like, man, I should have bought it when it was 100 Like, it's already worth three times that. So I've got a lot of his other rookie cards, but no Young Gun yet. And that's, you know, that's the elusive one. That's the one that's the most valuable. So anyways, there you go. That's the Kale McCarr profile. I hope you like and subscribe. Have a great day.